Welcome back to my face here on the dark web. We've got an untamed Kavu and a Call the Cavalry. So, those are the picks. All right. I don't want to hear any sass. Mirari Conjecture is exactly what we wanted. Unicorns, just as good. Uh, but there are no unicorns, unfortunately, because there's there's no there's no Mesa unicorns. That's what I'm saying. It's either Untamed Kavu or Call. I'm a big Call fan. I'm also a big Untamed Kavu fan. I like white more than I like green. Ah, Valley Man, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Really appreciate it. You got sass out the out the unicorns. I'm gonna go with call here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble a little bit. And we're gonna song song of Fraley's. All right. Well, someone took an uncommon over over this. I don't know what it could be. Wizards lighting maybe. I imagine Britney. If this was Britney Spears live from hell, she would probably open more Karns and Lyras and Teferis than we do. Also. I'm pretty sure History of Benalia is the hot number now, because History is now 9, Lyra is now 7. So it doesn't even matter. We, Lyra is past the point where it's like a super cool open. Now it's just kind of like, eh. Adamant Will or Gift of Growth? Adamant Will is probably better, right? The plus 2, plus 2 is great. The untap is great. But the, pr the protection, the indestructibility is really where you want to be, I think. It could have been icy. All right, yeah, it was probably icy. I would say that's that's the thing you take over a song of Fraley's. I will agree with you. However, on the other hand, let's look at it the other way. We definitely want to be green with the song. We might not be white. We're probably going to be white, but I'm going to take the gift of growth. That makes me sad that we had the gift of growth for a third. Memorial's pretty good with Fraley's song of Fraley's singing my song of Fraley's. Was it the Greenland case? Because that's my least favorite one. I hate that one. Pretty sure it's just Memorial here. Oh, baby. Nailed it. JK. Corrosive Ooze, I guess. This pack's not super impressive, but... I mean, I'll play a Corrosive Ooze more more than more often than not these packs are have not been very good i'm gonna take glider because it it does a lot of historic shenanigans and also with a song it's a three two flyer which is just fine and it just does things oh the red one is my least favorite you're right and then my green the green one is my fourth on the list here's another one i'd still rather just have a two drop and i'll take a trapper here Probably better than a short sword. I think we can get more short swords. I don't know that we'll get more trappers. I see short sword more than I see trapper. All right, I'm liking. I see people whiff, whiff constantly on the Green Memorial, which is why I don't like it. I mean, obviously, sometimes you're going to hit, sometimes you're not, and it's the cost of a land. But it's also, like, there's a mana investment. There's the investment of the land coming to play tapped. Like, there's a lot of things going on that I just don't feel like the, the package adds up. I'm not a big dub fan at all. At all. I'd rather actually have Corrosive Ooze number two just for the problematic enchant uh, artifacts, like uh, equipment, like Blade charge is mediocre but fine I suppose
I like Eldest Reborn a lot. I'm all right, Valley Man. How about yourself, buddy? How you doing, Denmark? Shield is kind of OP. Um, I don't agree with that, but I think we're just taking Sapper here. I could see splashing this, especially because we have Song. But uh, Sapper is really where you want to be when you got Song. So double Song. Oh boy, I wonder if Teshar is good in our deck. We can get this guy back. Is it just it's just creature, right? Interesting. Song or Teshar? There's also an Inbolus's clutches here. Oh my God, double de dubs Denmark. Yeah, we'll double song it. Two songs are better than one. Two songs are better than one. He says as he sings a song. What a time to be alive, guys. Is it Spider? It's got to be Spider. I don't think Animus is that great in a deck with uh, not very many legendaries. All these guys are tinies. Yeah, Spider's OP. Where are my white cards at, man? This is unfortunate. Where are my green cards at? Fiery Intervention. We might not be white. Maybe we just take fire intervention. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, you could say blue's open, and then you see a pack like this, and you're like, oh, there's literally nothing in here. I'm going to Hungry Howie's for the first time. What do I order to replicate authentic Franklin? For uh, get, a, get one of the Hungry Howie deep dish pizzas and get them well done so that you get that crisp crust. And then get any of the crust flavors you'd like. Oh, white's open again. Oh, sap herd. Never mind. Green be doing good. Uh, I would recommend like... Oh, sapling migration. Yes, please. All right. Everything's happening again. Get like a uh, garlic cheese crust or... Anything with garlic, butter, or cheese in the, in the name is probably safe for your crust choices. Wild Onslaught, this deck is turning out. How late is that Wild Onslaught? 14 plus 7, what is that, 21? This is a 22nd pick, so 7th pick? That's pretty impressive. As a native to Michigan, this fascination with Hungry Howies is pleasing to me. Yeah, I'm a native Floridian, so I, I know your feels. Hungry Howies... I'm getting real tired of these flies, man. I live in, I live in, you'd think I'd live in filth with all these, like. So, a couple weeks back, I made dinner, and I had a bunch of peppers and onions and things, and um, corn, I shucked some corn, and I put it in the trash can. The next day, the fruit flies were out in force, because of the de decomposing vegetable matter in the trash, right? There's a lid on the trash can, they just, they don't care about stuff like that. Um... Ever since then, there's been, like, I can see one fly at any given time. It's really obnoxious. It's not, there's not a ton of them, but there's, there's enough to, like, really be annoyed by their presence. Oh, short sword, it came back. That's pretty good. That might not be the same, same short sword, but my point is we would get one, and then we got one. So there's like this trick where you can put a, you can have a bowl of uh, apple cider vinegar, and then if you put a drop of, of uh, you can put a, a drop of dish soap in there, and that'll break the surface tension of the water so that they'll be attracted to, the, of the vinegar, so they'll be attracted to it, and then they'll just drown. Which sounds really morbid, but at the same time, it, it's very effective, and um, it's a way to get rid of them. But you gotta be like super after like after like you've seen them like you have to be super vigilant about all your all your your compost your decaying food matter. So like I've been throwing things out in the actual trash. Like if I have a banana, I'll like literally take it outside. I'll put it in a bag and throw it outside. Oh, hinterland harbor and a second in Bolus's clutches. Good lord. Oh, uh, worth noting, there's no Karn, Teferi, Lyra, or History Banali in any of these packs. I just wanted to throw that out there. Why doesn't your household compost? Do you compost? 
that seems like... I mean, it seems like most people don't compost, let's be real. I mean, this might be better than all the white cards combined, right? Do you really compost? That's impressive. I'm impressed. Just close the window is right. I mean, Sean is great, especially in this deck. Uh, all right, fine. It's Sean. Oh, a Baird. I don't love Baird, but I think it's a good card. Do we have any kind of... Uh, any kind of uh, buh, 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 historic cards matter? No, not really, I don't think. What are you referring to by compost? It's not you know it's not the same as recycling, right? Compost is literally like I don't think it's trapper. We have very like we have what, three cards that actually tap four? Uh, it's, I think it's Bailoth, 1,000%. I mean, it might also be a Florida thing. Like, Florida might just not compost. Like, we have a, I have a recycle bin and a regular bin. I've been for trash, and I've been for recycling. Well, this is all very sad. I guess I could be fine with another Invoke. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought compost was food matter, where it's like you actually, uh, you know, it feeds it feeds the earth, so to speak. You know, you're you're composting it. I, Gollum is not thrilling to me. I never want to. I never want my opponents to uh, to draw cards. I'd rather just have the other invoke. Oh, double Shauna seems good though. Sha -na 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 -na. I like a Cross Android, but I think I'd rather have the second Shauna just to guarantee we get that. That's pretty okay. Settle the score? Eh, I'll just take Jousting Lance. That's a good one. Oh my goodness gracious. I guess I'll take Halar. I'm not going to play a second Gift of Growth. <laughs> Lich's Mastery. I'll take the Guardians. We could always bounce a song. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Crossan Druid is exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, we need one more one more pick. One more playable here. I don't think it's gonna be you. Oh my god, I'll write something nice and you can read it out. The problem is I don't know what you're writing. I'd have to really trust you, so you'd have to not break our trust. I mean, worst case scenario, we just play another Crossavoos. I don't think that's terrible. Oh, the Trapper came back. That's pretty good. Also another Mammoth Spider. We did get significantly more Trapper targets. We got another Shauna. We got a Guardians. We got double... Uh, yeah, double Trapper seems good now. <sighs> Ooze number three. Dan, I don't know if that's true, buddy. We seriously need to look into Howie's sponsorship. I feel like every time I tune in, there's the first time you were saying something like, going to Howie's for the first time because of you. What should I get? <laughs> You're not wrong. I have also seen this, this trend. Wow, the old we have the 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 corrosive ooze package here. The quattro quattro oozes, as they say. This deck is done, right? Six, eleven. I'll go nine, eight. I I'm just a big nine, eight fan. Especially because we have double Shauna. 
30 miles talking to because of Frank? Wow, that's crazy, dude. What kind of, uh... What kind of sponsorship could we even have now? That's interesting. I wonder if we could be like, hey, hey, Hungry Howies. What can they give us? <laughs> no, I'd rather just play another legend. I'm gonna actually clip all these... These Hungry Howies, uh... Comments that, that we get in the chat. Because if there is a Hungry Howie sponsorship incoming, then I might as well have this evidence to support my case, right? If it feels only right. I'll talk to the Howie guys, no problem. <laughs> yeah, just drive on over. They were they were created in Michigan, right? Uh I will play first. Shana! No, this hand is wow. Guys, do I keep this? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I could have like a, a, a promo code. Like it could be like, you know, if you order, like you go to a link, like right, like hungryhowies.com slash frank or something. Or use a coupon code, right? And then they know, they know every time someone orders, um, that they ordered for me. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I mean, the, the realistically, Hungry Howies is probably a little too big time for me, but... You know. hundred miles away? Whew! It's like an hour and a half if you're, if you're driving fast. He had a fast car. Well, fast enough, thinking your way, trying to make a decision. Oh, I see. I want to play this guy because then, if we can go spider into song, um, we can actually play Gorger the following turn for like eight. Oh, I see. You have your own gorger. That's just gorge us. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go song into gorger here. Um, that would also give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. So if we hit a land, we can play both mammoth spider and glider. I think that's actually pretty good. I would rather just bail off in song here. Seems good. I was a man who sold the world. Five five. Seems good. I will not block because I don't want to. That is not... That's actually fine. Because now we can go spider. Big spids. One, two, three, four, five. Spider. And ooze. We passed along the stairs. Matthew or the answer is no. I didn't see that you asked. I thought you were going to be like, I just want to ask one question. And I was going to be like, you don't even have to ask it. The answer is no. I'll take five here again. All my guys are going to be big, big next turn. Unless, of course, you broken bond my song, in which case, well, that's just sad. All right, you got a lot of guys, but I do too, and mine are going to get swole this turn. Oh, where were you last turn? That would have been such a better play. But, I mean, we didn't have we didn't have the mana for it, so. Spoken was and words. But just being able to put your dudes into the red zone like this is pretty insane.
So we have, what, five guys? They have less than five guys. I think we, we're safe glidering here. I'd rather just have an evasive creature. An evasive creature! Also, we only have four lands, which is pretty hilarious when you look at this board. Oh, no attacks there. I like it. That's the way. Yo, let me get that wild onslaught. Universe is not a simulation any longer. I got real confused because I thought this guy had Vigilance for a second because Multani has Vigilance and Trample. There's a bunch of creatures that have abilities that you wouldn't expect them to have. And I thought that was one of them. And uh, we got lucky. Wild Onslaught wouldn't be bad. That's a way to put it. Sure. Sure, that's a way to put it. Oh, why? It's actually pretty good. So we put on this guy, he's a 7, which doesn't really do much, realistically. Um, 7 just means they can block with a 5-5 five, five, and a 4-4. Four, four? No, that doesn't work. Well, they go, they block with 5-5, five, 4-4, five, 3-5, four, four, right? We get to kill one guy, and then we lose our guy. So um, it's probably just better to put it on a 3-3. Three, three. Because then they can't, they can still chump block for both, but this way we actually get to keep the blocker back and we don't lose a 5 5 and 5 on the deal. We don't want to put it on the glider because they have a 3 5. Making our guy a 4, a four 1 first striker does not do what you think it will do. Yeah, Glider's like the one dude outside of Sapper that did not get counters. Oh, Shivan Awakening is nuts. It's literally just like... It's green fireball, right? Like, you just deal them a million at the end of the game. You're like, alright, I got eight lands. Attack with... Five two twos, and the rest of my board. I mean, even a game like this, like it just adds two more guys. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, the kids these days don't have any respect for reawakening. Did he say five doo-doos? It's a five doo-doos. You got the five doo-doos. Yeah, it's some, some, something like that. That is a lot of heavy breathing cats you got there. All right, well, we'll kill the Bailoff Gorger. This is a good trade. Gorger for a night? Deal. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> You took two doo-doos this morning? That's impressive. I don't know. I can't I can barely take one some mornings. The nice thing is they don't have multiple two threes. Like their their creatures go from three to five. So they either block with the five toughness guy that we just kill. Um 
if they had like double two threes, actually that doesn't even work. They'd have to have well, they can go two three two three one one, and then we get to eat a two three and a one one, which is fine. But being able to trade like Untamed Kavu and Bailoth Gorger for these two, these two tokens has been pretty good. I'm just gonna keep putting on my. He's like, well, once you're out of three threes, we're good to go. But then you'll be out of three fives, or you'll be out of five toughness guys. So. Cats are cats the symbol of trust in Denmark? Can I get a confirmation on that? Because if they're not, I feel like you ruined some trust. There we go. I think we can wait until we get one more, right? Right? Six to six. I don't like our odds here. I usually take one every morning when I wake up, but I ate Popeyes last night, so this. Oh, that's sad. Well, you're not very nice. Unfortunately. I mean, if they go Swamp into Skin Witch, we'll just cast the Onslaught. Like, They know we have it. They have to know. Everyone knows. Everyone knows when you have it. This is also lethal with the first strike, right? So I could just deal the first strike damage here. Yep. All right. Roll if you want to. This game felt surprisingly close considering uh, considering how many good cards in our deck we drew. That's actually a 10-7 good, buddy. That's a 10-7 good, buddy. Uh, what did they have? We, they had no creatures worthy of invoking that we saw, unfortunately. Charge actually might be good here over invoke. I didn't see anything invocable. You guys are right. That Aster Glider was, uh... Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! This hand is pretty good. It got better. I think we do it. If they have... I'm worried about Vicious Offering, right? But if they have Vicious Offering, it's very likely they're going to be able to sacrifice a guy to kill Shauna anyway. So... It's not... Terrible. I imagine CPH is... Yep, alright. That's what we were afraid of. But, I mean, they could have killed her anyway, so... I imagine CPH is Copenhagen. That's just my guess. So we can actually go one, two, song, four, call the cavalry, which is pretty good. 
Mm, yeah. Yeah. So one, two. Song, four, call. Next turn, we'll have four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go this, this, and this. Yeah, we're going to do that. Song is not a fair magic card. I was actually... I thought this card was unimpressive when I first saw it. The first few times people played it, I was like, all right, nothing happened. You, like, two of your dudes got got bigger. And um, now I'm pretty... I'm, I'm a little more high on it. Stupid Jawa, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Well, that's not going to do it. Don't broken bond my song, bro. Okay. Yeah, this next next turn's gonna be good. I will take four. <laughs> I'm high on you. <laughs> Appreciate it, kind buds. Those are some kind words from kind buds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so we're definitely playing Shauna. Is Honor Guard just better here? Actually, maybe it's best to just play these three and we can just save Gorger for when it's big. But we have four lands. I don't feel like that's really going to benefit us. However, is it better to have a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4 four, four, or a 5-5 five, five and a 2-2? Two, two? I think actually with their board, it's probably better to just have the 3-3. Three, three. Plus, this guy is good in the late game, so. Yeah, I think that's better. I'd rather have a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4 four, four than a 5-5 five, five and a 2-2 two, two, is really what it comes down to. They got one Crossand Druid. And that guy's pretty obnoxious. Run if you want to. God, just being able to just send all these guys in and not have to worry about it is such a nice feeling. This is 19 exactly, so. All right, now you take, now you go to two. You go to two? Yikes. Now we're just gonna play Gorger to have the massive bodies. We could've put them to one, but I wasn't sure how they block, so I wasn't sure how he wanted to play this guy, but now, now I'm a little more sold on. I don't foresee it being an issue with this board unless they have Urza's Ruinous Blast, which would be epic. We get to keep a Shauna, though. I mean, all of our guys have two power anyway, so the... Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Turns out uh, you can only draw four lands and still do very, very well. Uh, I don't know if the sagas are legendary, so to speak, but I think you can only have one in play at the same time. Maybe? I'm actually not even sure, to be quite honest with you. I know they're historic, but that's probably all I need. All I know.
I'm actually going to keep this hand. I think it's fine. I guess sagas aren't legendary because you can tell the same story multiple times. <laughs> Oh, a little Opterino. Opteruski. That was a great draw. <laughs> I am okay with that. Um, if they have syncopated, I'd rather this guy get syncopated. Well, wow, drawing planes into to Shauna is pretty good. Oh, the old uh, three color deck, eh? A classic. I'm a big t fan of the uh, turn four play song into call when you have two guys out. Shiv and fire. Yep. Figured they had that. Wasn't that cute? Well, isn't that special? Oh, Spidario. Wow, three color deck, Tempestion. I'm intrigued. All right, they don't have a pump spell. Good to know. That's rude. I will take three. Uh, I don't see why we pick up song. I'd rather just get the counters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana this turn. Nine mana now. I'd rather just play these two. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Um, can't pick up Spider, right? No. One, two, three. Second so con, they can. Single paid for one. No. All right, that's our hand. Yeah. 
that'll do. Song not even resolving. They have all three of their colors, and uh, we just win that game. That's interesting to me. Uh, we definitely saw one deep freeze at least, so that's pretty cool. I might just bring in this, but I don't think we have to. I think we're good like this. This deck seems pretty okay. I like when, an, uh, when a package from eBay is delivered. I get a notification on my phone from the eBay app. I get an email from eBay. And then I also know it was delivered because I've got the mail. So I know because I've seen it. So I literally get three notifications every time something is delivered from eBay. That's funny to me. Um, the problem with Song and the Elves deck in Modern or an older format is that like you're just actually... It's almost just slower than what you're doing now. I don't feel like we need charge when we have double song and a wild onslaught. Like these cards are just doing doing charge better. I really don't want to deplete the amount of creatures we have because I think they're better. Uh like you don't want to not draw creatures because you do too many pump effects. Okay, well that's enough planes. If one of these was a memorial, I'd be like, okay, I understand, but it's not. People still order from eBay? Yeah, I mean, eBay is a billion dollar business. <laughs> like, I don't even understand that. Oh, black. A oh, black mana. Okay. Yeah, Violated Grill, it's probably the same. You probably get a, a Twitch notification, you probably get an email notification, and you probably just have my, my feed open, so you're like, oh, I knew he was online. <laughs> the shipper didn't smoke coffee on that. No, thankfully those were comics and they, they made it okay, so. Thank goodness. Actually, I'm just going to play Ooze here. If you're sitting on a Cinco pay, I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense. Yeah, the funny thing is you can actually get things cheaper on eBay than you could on, like, Amazon. And the reason is people kind of forgot that eBay was a thing because of Amazon. So, like, a lot of times I'll just go on eBay and get something for significantly cheaper. And it just makes total sense. On the bright side, we do have Wild Onslaught mana. We have uh, Bailoth Gorger Kicked mana. So, got a lot of things going on here. I'll play this guy. This guy's fine to get countered. If you want to... Yep, there you go. You get to use your syncopate. Congratulations. There you go. You did it. What up, undreamt tuna? One day that tuna will be dreamt. We're still waiting. Wow. Oh, I'll get a red and a white. <laughs> All right, buddy. You do you. Wow, they did get a red and a white. Holy smokes. I was totally joking about that. That's pretty ridiculous. Why do you need five colors in your deck? What's going on here? Even I don't play five colors. Even I'm not that crazy. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Hmm. Also a thing. Pass it up. Sapperling migration one time. They have four cards in hand? I guess that's a thing. Shoot, I play Song of Freilies all day. 
I'll take five. I need that sapling migration simulation one time. Come on, internet. This is so weird in this five color deck. That's a that's that's literally not a, not what we're looking for here. Well, I'm just gonna pass here. Card is literally a drive. Yeah, that's correct. It is. Uh, that's not hyperbolic. That's that's actually just what it does. It just wins drafts. That is correct. As evidenced by our previous rounds. Sure. That is unfortunate. If I can get an invoke, I'd be okay with that. Really? Just that guy, huh? I don't hate a jousting lance. Well, that was pretty okay. Sure. This is rough. We take seven here. Not thrilled about that. That was aggressive. One time invoke. What up, casual calamity? Six drop, sure. Okay, now we're bringing in second invoke, 100%. That's not going to do it. All right, two invokes it is. I'm just going to ship like this. I don't want to cut a creature, and I also like all of our spells, so. I'll keep this reluctantly. That was a good draw, but I really don't feel like walking into a syncopate is the problem. God, what are the odds they have it? It's got to be high, right? I don't think we need to do it. If they don't play anything, then they don't play anything. Yeah, this is better. Uh, it is currently 1-1, one, one, Michael Barbal Blue Blue.
Hold on one second. What's it gonna be? Well, that's a good one. All right. Nope, that's not gonna be how that works. What up, Justin Ungiven? I would like to attack with one of these guys and then just gift of growth it, but they're just going to block with the Crossand Druid, so it doesn't really make sense. Plus, we can just keep this up in case they go Mountain Shiv and Fire. Nothing happened to Mike. Don't listen to Amped. Yep, still annoying. All right. Well, at least we have two answers in our deck for it. This Tempest Gin every single game in their five color deck is just mind blowing to me. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wild onslaught here. I don't want to get to nine to eight mana and then have them syncopate it for like X. I'd rather just be able to cast it now when they have their shields down and not have to worry about it. And now we also get two three threes, a one five, a two two, etc, etc, so. I could have seen waiting to Memorial next turn, but. Wow, second Tempest Gin, I would, I would laugh. Double Tempest Gin in the five color deck. Okay. Something different. Okay. That's fine. Ironically, we're getting real close to, uh... The problem is if they block here and block here, it's just so bad for us. Yeah, they opened more Karns in the one PT uh, draft that that was covered, that was televised, than than I've opened in fifty drafts on Magic Online. So, interesting statistics there. Um...
They might just let this through. What? That's gas. Did I just target their run? Oh god. I'm gonna scoop here. That was terrible. I totally misclicked. That was not ideal. Yeah, that's worse. Hmm. Sad days. Yep, that's not how that's supposed to go. <sighs> I'll play it out. We're not dead. That was so, so bad. That's so stupid. That just doesn't happen if you're like, if you're playing IRL, right? Like, you just never do that. I mean, Invoke on here into uh, Memorial is actually pretty good. God, can you imagine? I'll pump your grun. Are you sure? Um, yes. Oh, cool. Cool. Why you didn't attack with grun there? I don't, I don't, I mean, grun is probably a, I don't, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Grun is probably the better attacker. It's just going to abyss our guys, whereas three in the air, I don't think it, I mean, when you have this guy, it makes more sense, I guess, because now you're eight and eight, and then it's a two turn clock, so, yeah. All things going according to plan, I'm just tilted. So that that's fair. <laughs> Remember that time you locked your opponent out of playing back for back of negation? Yes, I do. Let's bring up the positive memories once we lose to a a funny thing. <laughs> God damn it, Elk Tears. Oh, Matthew. Good times, buddy. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yeah. All right, cool. A lot of lands. Next turn, invoke. Call the cavalry. Well, that was good. I mean, honestly, I don't think it would have made a difference. Like, we, we just, we kill the Grun, and then they still have Zahid and the other guy. I guess they have to keep one guy back, but, I mean, attacking us with Zahid for a few turns is pretty brutal. <laughs> Jester Pooh, have a good time hitting up the dispensary, buddy. You crazy West Coast kids. I'm a fan of this hand. Did they, what did they hit, a gorger? Sure. Oh, that was a good draw. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. That's cool, dude. So 
So next turn we can go Song. We'll have one, two, three, four mana. So we can play this and any one drop we draw. Just kidding. There's no one mana cards in our deck. Who needs to imagine Frank misclicking when you're when he does it right here live and in person? Well, that guy's just just gorgeous. Uh, one, two, three, four. We could play Song here and play Shauna and keep up Gift of Growth. I think I'd rather just play Glider here. Yeah, this is fine. Short sword is one mana? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Oh yeah, I'm taking all of this. You better believe it. I'll go to ten, boy. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. That reference doesn't even make any sense. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Give me something good. That's not it. It's like the, the literal opposite of something good. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You guys remember that song from, uh, from Beetlejuice? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. It was a good jam. I ain't afraid of no goats. We have a good time. <sighs> what are you coming in here with, buddy? Just that big, big bad Larry? No blocks. I'll go to six. And I'll hope you play an artifact or something. Play a Guardians of Koilos. They're not going to play that. Oh, maybe they are. It's real close. Don't kill my Shauna. Shauna. Yeah, two cards. Okay, I don't care about any of your creatures. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you, buddy. Oh, double song? Two songs? Songs for days. I want to play this other song first just because it lets us tap all these guys for mana. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? This guy is a five butter. So many songs singing together. They can just take 15 here. That's good, right? That's okay, right? So we can actually tap this guy because you can't block, and we'll tap this guy, and we'll gift you. Target the right guy with the gift this time, and I'll eat that spider. Eat him dead. We could have we couldn't have won there. We could have put them to four, which actually might have might have won next turn if they didn't have an answer. But they, their spider wouldn't have died, right? So they would have just had a blocker for the spider. So that's worth considering. Our mana was perfect. We got to untap this guy to gift, and we get to still keep Invoke up in case they play some shenanigans. Magic's a game of skill and leadership and battle borgs. Damn! 
Thank you. What? Bredicus Maximus, thanks so much for the resub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Why are you a thing? Well, I guess we have infinite attackers with this with this cool bird. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Thank you. Daddy Dandy Longlegs, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're so close. I guess we just do it all next turn, right? It doesn't do it. Gives us seven in the air. Whatever, we just have to survive here. They have five guys, we have three blockers and an invoke. Do you think there'll be going to be any inevitable standard bans? Um, not really. I can see an alpha here. I could see maybe Chain Whirler, but I mean, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if this is enough events to really determine. Uh, I don't want to kick Wild Onslaught here because I want to be able to not die to uh, things. Let's block things. Block you. Block you. Block. You. Kerwit, Frank, you should start franchising your stream. You franchise kid could come with a sweet beard wig combo and instructions on how to catch a Mike B. I don't know how to catch one, so they would be... So if they have unkicked guy, it's four, five, six, seven, eight damage. We gain four, so we survive. That's good. Okay, let's... I mean, if they have Wild Onslaught, that's also good, but that's still just four extra damage that we're taking, so... I will leave it to them, because this guy is lethal. Run amok on that guy. That is eight, extra, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six. <sighs> Jesus. I planned for gift. I planned for wild onslaught. I did not plan for shitty run amok. That is unfortunate. We can go to 10, and we can pump at the same time. Invoking the Lance doesn't do it, though. Like, we go to 10 life. Um, but we're still taking 3, 4, and 8, which is four, uh, 12. And then we can actually pump this guy 1. You guys are naming the things we can do. Invoke Lance, Onslaught, No Kick. I already mentioned both of these. It doesn't, it doesn't save us. We're not alive if we do that. So this guy becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Then we take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we, go to, we invoke, we gain 4. Like, yeah, sucks. Uh, what do I think of the Pro Tour Finals? I mean, what, what kind of information are you looking for? Give me a more specific question. And by finals, do you mean top eight or just the finals specifically?
Have you ever seen someone go from prospective PT champion to scumbag? That what happened? I I don't know if I was there some drama that I just missed. Uh, I didn't actually see the last game of the top eight, so I can't actually comment on it, unfortunately. I will go back and check it out, though. Our deck seems great. I just feel like we've had some bad beats here. A likely story, I'm sure, but... There he goes again, whining about his beats. He's like Dwight Schrute of magic. Who was the player specifically that uh, that called out the Ravenous, the uh, the Ragavan trigger? So I can watch for that match. No blocks. As you can imagine. Hey, we got a target for our thing now. That's pretty cool. Was it Pinto? Interesting. Was that in the finals, P.F. Chang's? Also, I'm a big fan of your restaurants. <laughs> hi -oh! We have a good time. Kerwit, one beats buck. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. What are all these three color decks we're facing? I mean, obviously this is a... Uh, the previous one was like a five color deck. I'm going to invoke this guy. I don't know how many other targets they have. We didn't see any in game one. So I'd rather not take one and maximize the amount of life we actually gain here. And they're gonna be like, jokes on you, here's a song for you, and I'm gonna be like, oh no. Yeah, that guy's fine. So we know they have run amok. So Pinto was up, had the win next turn, and dude ripped the glory bringer to swing and kill the crucial blocker and deal like eleven in one turn to win. Decided to play safe. Instead of committing to lethal, he had lethal in hand. Oh, spider dot deck over here. All right. Man, I really wish I had more creatures at this point. That'd be great. That would be great. All right. Pass it up. Pass, pass it up. I'll kill that guy while you're tapped out. Boof! I think we just play song here. This is pretty rough. It gives us one turn to draw something that, that benefits, but... How's it going with the no car, no Tefri streak? Keeping on. We're keeping on, keeping on, buddy. Ugh. All right, a little kicky kick. 
And then you can two for one us with your vicious offering. That's how I feel. Or your shiv and fire. One or the other. Interesting. You did not have that. I'm just going to song here. I don't. Ideally, we draw sapling migration. That's a big boy. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That was not the, no, that was not the three men and a baby song, okay? <laughs> Which is what I'm now going to call it. Man, look at all these creatures they're just throwing out here. All right, well. This is four in the air, but they can easily block here if we don't, if we just move it. Hmm. The Family Guy episode? Three Men and a Baby is a movie. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about right now. I mean, if we attack with this guy, which is a 4-6, if we move the sword, they just block here. Um, this is an easy block with like 3-2-4-3 three, three, because then they... But if we move sword here, it's also a two-turn clock, and they have to deal with this guy next turn. But they could also just chum block here, and then block with the... F they could still do, like, block here, block here, block here, and it gives them another turn. This is actually a surprisingly difficult attack to make. I don't know what to do. If only we drew an artifact. Whatever, I'm going to put them on the two. Make them have it. This is an easy block, but then they have to block this with something. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? No, don't do that. There you go. You figured it out. Still got to throw something in front of this. That's bigger than a 1-1, one, one, so we do. it's still good to eat you. I'm going to eat you. Anything I'm excited for at E3, 1,000% new Fallout information. They go to one here? That's good. Well, that's pretty okay. So, Reed Duke apparently started off like 1-3. And then he just rattled off infinite wins, and he literally went like he finished like 13 3 or something like that. Something ridiculous. Fire elemental in your deck. 
That's not going to save you. Eh, that will. Okay. Seems good. Bye bye, little Sebastian. Now I'm gonna, I'm trying to get the Frasier song stuck in my head. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. And maybe I seem a bit confused. But I don't know what to do with those toss salads and scrambled eggs. They're gone again. Good night! That's, uh... That's the Frasier song. If you guys want me to take theme song requests, I might. What's the hold up here? All right, we did it. Looks like we made it. So if we attack with both these guys, they can just go three, one, two, three, or they can block here, block here, block here, right? So four, with, they have to block with everything on this guy to actually make a dent. This is an easy trade for them. I'd rather just eat a tiny guy and not worry about it. God, I don't think I know the Laverne and Shirley theme. I'll just move this. That is not the top deck you're looking for. Unless you have Fight with Fire in hand and then you need one land now. Don't waste another. What about the, uh, I can do the, uh, God, what's that show called? I forgot, I can't think of it. Growing Pains? Is it Growing Pains? Don't waste another minute on your crying little lean. Best is ready to begin. Whoa. I think we're actually at a pretty pretty reasonable stalemate here. Only there are one. Can we deal one damage? I don't think we have another ace tier glider, unfortunately. We do have a song and a wild uh, onslaught in our deck. Just make a song out of all the random 80s theme songs, you know. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, the Facts of Life? That's a good one. Acapella Rick and Morty theme song. Oh my god. Oh god. It's just it's just weird, eerie music though. There's no words. Not the best audio quality, but I found the liver. Oh god. Men, 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 men. I hate you. You're <laughs> You also, I like that you threw in the like, uh, the the friggin' red herring. Not the best audio quality. You know, it's just a, it's just an old timey. It's like someone recorded off their TV screen. It's a YouTube. It's a YouTube recording off a TV. So you know, apologies in advance. Not the best audio quality. You fuck, you scumbag. God, I'm so proud of you though. Oh, you're kicking this guy. I see. Are we dead? Probably. Remember that time I was like, this is a good stalemate. It wasn't. 5, 10, 11, 15, 16, 18, 20, 15, 30. We have to block a big, big, big. They are tapped out, though, so. Wow. Hmm. 
This changes everything. This is not ideal for us. God, they're at one? What is this? 5, 10, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we have to block five of it, which means we gotta just gotta do one of these jobbies. And now everybody's at one, except you have more guys. I can't believe we just lost this game. Like, barring an, a ridiculous top deck here. It's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. All right, well, we survived. I don't know what just happened. That's pretty good. Why don't either of these have trample? Like, we attack with both, they block, but then we die to this guy. This guy's really problematic, unfortunately. All right, we're just going to pass here. Hope you don't have one removal spell. That's not a removal spell. We're still not out of the woods yet. How about an invoke? Invoke would be great. We can just kill this idiot. A broken bond. Interesting. Keep them coming. Keep them rolling. Keep them twofers alive. If they go 5-5 five, five, and 4-3 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 creatures. They have to block everything, right? If they block Shauna, like... They have to block with at least two guys. And they have to be two big guys. Or they can chump block, in which case... That's fine. Like, we're just eating a guy. Yep. This makes it better for next turn, because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 guys to their 6, which means they have to play 2 guys, or have 1 removal spell, right? No, we have 7 guys, so... I mean, this trample guy is still the problem here, so... All right, fingers crossed they don't have a removal for a Mammoth Spider. That is not it. Okay, no run amok, no run amok. I think we've won. I don't think they can have two answers here. So what is this, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna send all. Like they have to kill two guys or gain life somehow. I don't think they can do it. Woo! Untrim Tuna. Take it easy, buddy. God, I would love to add another... I wonder if this Radiant Lightning is worth splashing. Is that greedy? It's kind of greedy. There was a sweat and then the epic. That is 1,000% correct. Wow, that game was... Migration into Sap Herd was insane. That was so that was runner runner if I ever saw one. Two. Two runners. If I ever saw two runners. Actually invoke is is good because they have the the Partic 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 Boy. Party boy. I'd work on my audio quality? What's wrong with the audio quality? I don't understand that. Like, my mic is literally $400. <laughs> like, I would love to I would love to agree with you, but this is like a, a Shure SMB... Thank you. SM7B, and like, 
It's a four hundred dollar mic. I imagine my audio quality is better than most streamers. Yeah, I can't tell if that was a joke that was like. A, a lot of, yeah, a lot of things were recorded on SM7Bs. I, I agree with you. I don't have to agree. That was a factual statement. Big J Funk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Matthew, was that your comment? Oh, if you were in your audio cutter, you have more huge fan. I don't get it. Wait, what was that from? I'm tempted to bring the other Invoke in because their guy is huge. One audio quality bug. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so I missed the joke. My apologies. I love you guys. I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is good. I think our hand is good. If we can hit one white, I'll be ecstatic. I thought you were quoting someone else, and you were like, oh, here, this guy said this in case you missed it. But I, I remember your joke where someone was like, hey, I'm a huge fan. I think you'd have... I remember that. I remember the meme. Um, I don't think we're in a, in a place where we just play Sapperling Migration here. I think we just play this. Oh, that was a good draw. That one rando sound engineer fan that just thinks you're okay would be a huge fan if you got a $2,000. I think you're okay, but you can really hear the way the highs and lows aren't really ac accurately represented in your audio broadcast. Hey, buddy, shut up. No one cares. I love all the mics. <laughs> oh, fantastic. We have a good time. Having a good time. I wish I had a planes. I'd play these creatures every day. Looks like we made it. Do, 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 do. Playing guys to the board. Actually, a song here would be great. One, two, song, trapper, next turn migration. Let's do it. Fire Elemental? Ugly Fire Elemental? Oh, just mono Kelden Raiders dot deck over here. Our 2-2s two match up pretty well with Kelden Raiders. We have a short sword. OMG Zoro, are you actually asking? Or are you, is this... I, I can't even tell. That could be like a Kindergarten Cop reference, actually. How much was your mic and what does it do? In that order, I like the $400 mic the most, then I like thick mic, and then I like swole mic. I I feel for that. We're just playing towards our songs, right? Song is insane on this board, I think. We don't have any mana, but we're getting there. I feel like we're going to die. Either way, this was a good draft. Just because we can't win them all doesn't mean... We didn't win them all. Oh god, here we go. Double black. Black, black. I thought it was a play on who is your daddy and what does he do from Kindergarten Cop. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Alright, we're looking for a song, guys. Looking for a song. Can I get one song? I don't think we're going to play anything here because there's nothing to play. We can either Wild Onslaught or Growth. But I'm definitely not migrating, that's for sure. Oh, that's a big... That's a big boy. Can I invoke that guy? That seems like a good play, right? Yes!
Looks like we made it. We got a lot of do do dudes. We just have to survive this turn, yeah. Now they're gonna be like, okay, now we have to start attacking. And then I'm gonna be like, well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully you don't have run muck, I guess. Block you and block you. Oh, good blocks. That worked out well for us. Yep. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll have eleven mana, so we can actually play Trapper and Onslaught for 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 kicks. That's very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can also equip the sword. Everything is good. D -d 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 Dance all night. Get real loose. I don't I don't know how they win here. This seems friggin' brutal. Who is your daddy and what does he do? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got all the mana in the world. Oh, that's just fine. That is just fine. Do it. Do it. Oh my god. Oh, this is just bad. Oh, this is just so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh Jesus. Welp, see you later. Have you heard the band Austrian Death Machine? They do parody songs based on anime movies. I have not. Are they just no blocks? They're just like, eh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even worth it. All right, we did good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Despite our loss to the five color uh, Tempest Gin deck uh, that we accidentally pumped their grunt in, I'd say it went pretty well. So if you guys haven't done so, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. I am providing new content. I'm gonna do a, a PT, uh, some thoughts on the on the Pro Tour, and I'm gonna post that up there this week. And for a dollar a month, that's literally nothing. You can get access to that. So thank you guys for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.